What's up? What's going on? How everybody doing? How y'all feeling, Peep Squad? Let's get into it. Mary Jane TV creation. Let's talk about Angela Simmons. As you guys know, there have been reports out here that Angela Simmons has been filming with the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 14. She has been around. She has friends on the show. She has besties on the show. And she supports some of the ladies on the show. She has a relationship with them as well. But Angela Simmons, allegedly people are telling TMZ, but production source are saying you know that that's not the case Angela Simmons is not on board to actually film with Real Housewives of Atlanta she just happened to show up when Marlo Hampton is hosting events and when the cameras are around and when they are filming and when all the Real Housewives of Atlanta peach holders are in one room at the same time at the same place Angela saying that it's just happening by accident allegedly that is what they are telling TMZ production sources so you know you know, Angela, allegedly, they said Angela is not trying to film with Real Housewives of Atlanta at all point blank, period. But we also heard reports that Angela Simmons cannot film with Real Housewives of Atlanta because she has contract obligations with WeTV. And so, therefore, filming for Real Housewives of Atlanta and WeTV may be a hindrance, may be some problems going on. But Angela has not addressed any of these claims, which I believe Love B. Scott actually said of this claim that Angela, you know, you might see her on the camera, but you will only get a small glimpse of her because she has contractual problems you know, filming and taking a real seat on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But it seems like Angela, people are telling TMZ that she doesn't want to be in front of the cameras and she's not trying to be in front of the RHOA cameras at all because she got her thing going on on WeTV. Or maybe that's just not the case. But I don't see, you know, Bravo turning away Angela Simmons. So therefore, Angela Simmons can use this opportunity and what people are saying to basically, you know, amp up her pay over there at WeTV. We TV for growing up hip hop because it seemed like maybe the Real Housewives of Atlanta want her, but Angela Simmons is, is saying that allegedly to TMZ that you know she has a lot of other things going on. She producing other shows, and right now she cannot film for Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 at all. But rumor on the street is that she needs to straighten things out there over there at We TV. But we shall see. In any event, you know, Angela Simmons has been showing up. And showing out and she has been around the housewife so you know people were saying she's trying to get her feet wet to see if this a project that she might want to be a part of because I believe Angela could do whatever she want to do but do she want to sit in them seats does she want to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta if she wants to be on there I believe she will have a red carpet for her to enter we shall see because she has relationships and she has friends on the show, as you know. So we shall see what Angela Simmons is going to do and what her new project is. But one thing is for sure, she's absolutely supporting Marlo Hampton, new business, because Angela Simmons showed up to Marlo Hampton filming for the Royal Housewives of Atlanta, a party for her line that she has where you can rent, use name brand clothing that you can't afford for a week or two or a few days and return the items and they will be clean and sanitized and back on the shelf for the next person to rent. And Kenya Moore did support, you know, Marlo Hampton's business as far as her brand with people actually renting out expensive clothes that they can't afford, but if they can rent them and return them back, they don't lose all the money in their bank if they want to live like the Joneses and show up like the Joneses. So, you guys let me know what you think about this situation. But for sure, for sure, you know, Marlo Hampton event where Angela, you know, Simmons showed up at. We already know Kenya Moore wasn't there. And we know Portia Williams wasn't there. Because Portia Williams is not feeling Marlo Hampton, nor is Kenya Moore. So, it is what it is, baby. But in any event, let's get on to the situation when it comes to Miss NeNe Leakes. You know, she has made it official. She has kissed her new boyfriend and, you know, in public, they're holding hands, they're showing PDA, and also they're traveling together from Atlanta to New York, and also to Miami, Florida, and 
um, Miss Nelise is happy and she wants people to support her because she says she hasn't been happy in a long time and now she is happy. So just give her a break. This is what she said on Instagram in a post. But in any event, people are questioning whether, you know, Nene Leaks has been dating this man for a long time, whether it's only been a few times or whether does she really know him. And then people are speculating that this man is married and he is married. But in any event, you know, Miss Nene Leaks just want people to give her a break and mind their business and she's actually enjoying herself because it's Sagittarius season but there have been rumors and allegations that her new boo you know is actually married and he may be separated or he may still be in contact with his wife or his wife is in the hopes of them you know, rekindling their marriage or their relationship, but they do not share any children together. And, you know, they might be coming out speaking up against this relationship between Nene Leakes and her new present boo. So you guys let me know what you think about this situation. But in any event, it is what it is, whether he's good for her or whether he's bad for her, we will see in time. Time will tell it all. For real, for real. And so let's move on to, you know, maybe there are some allegations going on that Portia, you know, is not in good, you know, spaces when it comes to Andy Cohen because she has been seen hanging out with NeNe Leakes and spending time with NeNe Leakes. I don't see what's wrong with that. And if they are friends and they're both not filming for RHOA, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a situation. But people are saying that Andy is not feeling the situation. And he's definitely not feeling too great because he has had, you know, C-19 again and so therefore he probably got time and he's watching what's going on on social media between Portia Williams and NeNe Leakes hanging out for NeNe Leakes birthday. I don't know what's wrong with that but people are saying that's rubbing a nasty taste. Bravo TV and the production company are not really feeling that situation because NeNe Leakes extended a olive branch out to Andy Cohen and he rejected it. So, therefore, they are assuming that Portia needs to fall back because, you, as you guys know, people will not be filmed or seen or take pictures with NeNe Leakes, you know, until Greg had passed away and they came to, you know, his celebration at the Lanithia's Lounge. And so, therefore, you know... That reason was there to celebrate Greg's life, support Greg, even though he has passed on, rest in peace, rest in power, but also support NeNe Leakes as well. So I guess they got to get out of, you know, the production hand company and they was able to, you know, mourn with NeNe. But in any event, people are saying that NeNe Leakes and Portia Williams' relationship is too close. She had a pass one time, but now we got one, two, three times. They're not really feeling that situation. I really think that that's rumor and that's propaganda, but they're saying this is why Portia Williams is absolutely having a hard time with her new show, Portia Williams Family Matters. People are also speculating that Portia Williams is having a difficult time with her new spin-off show because, you know, it's cutting deep, it's cutting close to her family members, her relationship from, you know, two fiancés and also a baby daddy and dealing with her family as well, that this is the point in time that Portia Williams should have actually had control over production and actually use her own production company to actually film this show she should have made sure that that was part of the guidelines or in the contract that she did sign with bravo because then portia williams would have had control over the footage and therefore things that she deemed to be not what she want to be produced or seen on a syndicated you know show and network that will actually put her in a not so good shining light that she would have control and own the footage and therefore not give it to permission to be produced but in any event people are saying maybe Portia Williams should have went with Candy Burris and Tall Tucker you know production company and actually filmed her show because they probably would have did right by her and the best way that they could other than 
Portia Williams out here on social media, basically, you know, addressing episodes before they actually are produced and shown to us that this is what you guys are going to see. And I'm going to change the narrative. And she's changing it on, you know, her Instagram page. But if she actually had full power and control of production and filming, she would own the footage and she can actually scrap it if she wants. But do you think Candy Burris would have did right by Portia Williams? If she would have actually lutely chose her to do it because we know Portia Williams and Candy Burris are not on the same page a lot of the times and they have issues and they have things of that nature that they both been trying to work on publicly and not disrespecting each other in the last you know few months or whatever the case is but people are just saying in general Portia should have owned the footage and Simon should have made sure Portia owned the footage because he's there and she's a part of his brand just like she's a part of his brand and he's a part of her brand and so there a businessman intellectual should have made sure that this was in the contract so therefore if people like it or not it will paint Portia in the best light if she didn't want something to be added because she also had that obligation or she also had that power in the past that she was able to get footage cut from Real Housewives of Atlanta, but this ain't Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is your spinoff. And Bravo intends to make their money, make their money now, and do what they need to do to profit off of the talent that they have hired to produce shows and give spinoffs. So, do you guys think Portia Williams should have had her own production company? You know? Mm-hmm. And that way she can cut into thing and she can come out looking like a goddess and an angel. Let me know what you think.